Hello. Today we are running another distillation on our uh, continuous fractional steel. Here you can see some spirit. We are running wine again. So it's a grape wine. It's a waste coming out of the steel. It's a spirit we collect and just started to collect it. Uh, you can see it's here in a bottle. Also, there's the two jars. Here we've got collection of the heads, constant removal of the heads. And here in this one, we've got our tails. So tails removed constantly as well from our steel. Everything looks stable. Uh, running it for quite a while now. So you can see wine here in the drum. It's a red wine. Here's a pump. Here's a supply. Here's a steel. We've got two columns. It's a stripping column on the left side. And on the right hand side is a fractional, continuous fractional column. you can see it's the bottom column here we've got our well for the tail separation at the bottom so it's a tail strip at the bottom of the column Also we've got, over here you can see some water, so this is the water that still contains some spirits in there that didn't uh, vaporize, that wasn't vaporized actually, it's get returned to the main stripping column, again for another stripping, another distillation, here's actual fractional column on top. If you've got a reflux ratio well, you can either use it or not. It's dependent on a uh, depending on a uh, quantity or amounts of the alcohol or ethanol in your mesh. If it's low content mesh, you can uh, let some reflux coming back to the column. Also, we've got some automatic reflux occurring here naturally in the column. Uh, here's the top of the column. Here we've got our heads collected, condensed and trapped. So it's a trap for the heads and they reduce through this heat exchanger down. Sorry. Uh, here's our heads. So all the nasties are collected here. Here's the tails again. Here we've got our ethanol. It's not that clean because uh, the steel was rebuilt and now we're running sort of primary distillation like a priming distillation I would say or cleaning distillation so not everything so clear with the steel uh, we're gonna flush it through it's gonna be okay also later we're gonna check the percentage of the ethanol that we have in the, from the steel. Plus, uh, this particular ethanol or alcohol, it's a wine based, and because there's uh, so many uh, aromatic hydrocarbons locked in wine and some essential oils that actually gives the distinctive taste and uh, flavor, uh, this particular stuff actually reacts with the, bot uh, with the water that's used to be in bottle. So it turns, turns it pale, you know, whitish, but it's gonna go later, no problems. It's more like uh, perfume, when it mixed with water, it's becoming sort of milky, like this one. So the same thing. And this particular alcohol is good for brandy production. So here's an overview of the seal. Sorry for the mess in the workshop. Quite tall, it's about uh, two meters tall. 
but only 1.5 kilowatt. It's a continuous fractional steel, one more time. So it's going to process any quantities. Not that fast, but non-stop, 24-7. And again, it's a prototype. Some ethanol inside. Here we've got crude alcohol supply, raw spirit. It's coming into the fractional column. Thank you for watching. Bye.